Hi guys, my name is Don, and this is... Hi, I'm Jenna. Uh, and if you guys don't remember her, she's actually my girlfriend from the, uh, the Master of Masters video, um, which I talked about uh, in Kingdom Hearts. And today we're actually going to be talking about what got us into gaming, because uh, both of us is ga are gamers, and um, we're actually going to be talking about two different types of gaming. We're going to be talking about video games, and we're going to be talking about Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, something that her and I both recently got into together. Um, just air quote that? <laughs> yes. I air quoted it because I was really into it, but the group that I got into kept adding more people, and I got really... Well, <laughs> first, we should go ahead and talk about video games, because that was the first thing we got into. Uh, do you want to start? Or... Sure. Um, so, I don't know. The first part I remember is playing um, on my GameCube. That was the first console I ever got uh, from my dad. Uh, I think it was after, just after my parents' divorce, so maybe they were trying to um, distract me from... You're gone. You're thirsty. Um, <laughs> um, that's kind of the first thing I remember is um, after my parents got divorced, my dad probably wanted me to um, be able to have fun by myself while they figure out legal issues and whatnot and play with my brother, which obviously I didn't like. But <laughs> anyway, I remember playing Mario Kart... Uh, Double Dash on the GameCube. Um, that's one of the first games I played. I played with my dad and my brother, sometimes my mother, when I visited her. Um, and then I remember another game that I got. I don't know if it was before or after it, um, but I got a Scooby-Doo on GameCube, too. Um, and that was when I got my tonsil out when I was 10, which was probably before my parents divorced. So. I, I, my brain's very messed up <laughs> with timing and whatnot of my uh, childhood, and there's a very good reason about that, but I'm not going to go into it. Um, uh, yeah, all, all I've had was a, a GameCube as a kid. I didn't really get into, like, PlayStation stuff until I met you. <laughs> I, I really didn't. <laughs> like, it's funny, I have a long history with PlayStation, like a really long history with PlayStation. Um... <clears throat> So I guess it's my turn then? I guess so. Okay. Um, so I actually got um, my first taste into video games when I was really little. My mom had uh, had two TVs, and they, were, they weren't just like TVs that you have nowadays, like most people might think that we would have. Uh, no, they were, they were the big TVs that looked like this big. The cubes. The cubes. <laughs> The ones that look really nasty nowadays, they were just like all the norm back then. Um, <laughs> the ones where you had to walk up and push the knobs. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I actually had one of those eventually too. Um, but anyways, um, but uh, she had the NES hooked up to it and uh, a plethora, uh, or at least what I remember to be a plethora, of NES games, uh, and one of the very first games I remember playing was Duck Hunt and um, and Super Mario Brothers. Uh, so that was the very first game I remember playing. It was like the little cartridge for the uh, for the NES, and then uh, eventually the PlayStation came out, and uh, my mom wanted to upgrade the NES to the PlayStation. I don't exactly remember what she did, but one day, she took the NES and she traded it in for a PlayStation. And uh, I grew up, I still have it actually. Um, same one too. Um, but uh, eventually, like, I ended up, um, I ended up starting playing like these little demo discs that came with it, like PlayStation Underground. And it came with two very, very, very distinct games. Spyro the Dragon and Crash Bandicoot. It was Crash Bandicoot Warped, specifically. Um, so, my mom got sick and tired of me playing the, the demo version of the game. So she went out and she actually bought me uh, 
Spire with a Dragon, and Crash Bandicoot Warp. Now, the reason why she uh, she actually got me so many video games was because she wasn't able to go ahead and play with me on her own. She had uh, she had actually fallen into a what I would call a, a, a hole, and I've uh, since heard that it was like a sprinkler ditch or something like that. And people were just trying to dig a ditch, and they were trying to put a sprinkler in. And uh, she's uh, she hasn't really recovered. Um, even to this day, like, she still hasn't exactly recovered she from it. She can't go upstairs and stuff. She can't. Um. Anyways. Anyways. Um. But, uh, after that, like, the very first game that I remember beating was actually Spyro Year of the Dragon. It was the very first game I ever beat. Uh, and then after that, I beat Ripto's Rage, then Spyro won. So... I actually went backwards uh, when it comes down to what Spyro game I beat. I beat the, the, the third one first, the second one second, and then the, uh, the first one last. Um, the reason behind it was because like I had ADHD, so that's why my mom plopped had. me. Have ADHD. <laughs> uh, that's why my mom plopped me down in front of a TV. Um, and uh, that's why I was able to do what it is that I did. Um, even to this day, like I, I still love Sony. I still love PlayStation. Uh, I have had at least one iteration of every single PlayStation console, um, including the PlayStation Vita, uh, which, in my honest opinion, I've already talked about that, is such an amazing console. Uh, and I recommend somebody play it at least once. Um, but yeah, that is essentially how I got into gaming, was the PlayStation 1 and Spyro Crash, um, was the one that actually skyrocketed it for me. Um, since then I've had, uh, Kingdom Hearts, which, again, like I've said in my last video, um, I absolutely love, it's one of my favorite games of all time, and, uh, <laughs> he's crazy about it. <laughs> And, um, like, I, I love a lot of other games, like Jack and Daxter and all different sorts of things. Um, I, I end up finding more and more and more that I, uh, that I enjoy, um, at least every day. And I'm very passionate about this, and that's why I want to make it, like, I would love to become a journalist and uh, make this my job, my career. So. But I'll have to teach you about grammar and punctuation first. But doing it on video, I don't necessarily have to, but, I mean, writing a script does help. No, you'll, you'll have to use it. <laughs> Even if you go into journalism or not, it's very helpful. No, this is not a, a plug-in for So Delicious. <laughs> Maybe it is. We can get them to sponsor our videos. No, I don't think we can. <laughs> I think we might be able to get Red Deli, too, but... Ooh. It's actually a really good idea. Especially He'd since do it. <laughs> he would. <laughs> <laughs> He'd do it. He's a really good friend of ours, our, uh, the owner of Red Deli here in Provo, Utah. Anyway, um, something I forgot to mention was actually the GameCube was not my first console. Tamagotchi. <laughs> I don't know if that would constitute as a gaming console. Though, Whatever. I, I, I had, owned one. Because I had something similar to that. I had the, the Digivice little... Uh, the, the, it's still the version two. It's still considered a, vi uh, a video game. My parents would have taken it away if it was still considered a video game. Why? Because I got grounded a lot. <laughs> Me too. No, you didn't get grounded a lot. I got grounded a lot. You got grounded for stupid reasons. I. I mean, I love my parents. <laughs> Uh, they taught me good things, but they were extremely strict with me. Not as strict as they are with my, my siblings, unfortunately. Um, but we don't need to get into that. Uh, what was another thing? Oh, yeah. I got really into Harvest Moon, Another Wonderful Life. That's the only Harvest Moon game I've played, um, just because I got so obsessed with it. <laughs> I recently... What are you doing? <laughs> I recently got obsessed uh, with it again. I don't have the game anymore, unfortunately, because I let my cousin borrow it. And Can I, think I watch she lost Harvest it. Moon? Yep. Um, anyway, that's. Uh, 
a YouTuber called Thamal9 uh, does is actually still doing a playthrough of that game, uh, going on like 70 something episodes right now into it, and I'm on 60 something. Watch, I've watched every single one, one by one. <laughs> And I watch a couple every time I'm over here, pretty much. Just but. strange, because I gave you my smart TV to use, so you can, <laughs> you can use it. No, but once I get home, once I get home after visiting this guy, I just kind of want to go to sleep. <laughs> I think that's it. So. Well, um... We can talk a little bit about uh, your so far your experience uh, with uh, with dating a gamer. Oh, dating a gamer. Because oh. your experience with dating a gamer is a lot different than dating a lot of the other guys you dated, right? True. Yeah. Um. Well, you are the gamer, gamerest person I've ever dated. Um. I don't know. First impression of. I don't know, it didn't bug me. It wasn't like, oh, you're a gamer, therefore you're this kind of person. Not really. Um, because I love video games myself. Not as much as you, though. Yeah, but you were Not... obsessed with Twilight Princess when we first met. Yes, Twilight Princess. Yeah. Still haven't beat it yet. I haven't beaten any games. It's really strange, actually. I, I've never beaten any games. We, we, we need to find you a game that's easy to beat. Anyway, about dating a gamer, um, I don't know, I get, there's no, like, stereotypical thing, I mean, he always, always, always needs to have an electrical, electric device near him, on, Especially all the time, man. all the time, um, wanna, no, wanna. like, whether it be your phone, um, I mean, I don't really want to complain, no, you're not complaining. I mean, uh, it's I not don't want people to be mad at you. It's Why not. Why people be mad at me? It's I a, just. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, he's really good at it now. Well, not really good, but pretty good. He's gotten better at um putting his phone away during dates. Um, it was really difficult for him not to have something going on while we're on a dinner date or something like that. Um, you bought in PlayStation View and I had my TV. I wanted to use it. Yeah, but I don't know what else to say. You, you're you. You're not like. One thing, <laughs> uh, one thing that really bothers you, and I know it does because you complain about it all the time, is the fan that constantly goes. Now that's not a gaming thing. That's not. Um, that's not an electric thing or anything like that the reason why i have that on is mostly due to comfort like right now there's no fan in here and it's freaking me out but so. one thing that is going on is the projector and it kind of sounds like a fan true so that's part of it but the thing i used to i used to live in a house with him and we used to sleep in the same bed and um he'd always He'd always need to have the fan going, and it was during the winter. Okay? I don't like to wear clothes while I sleep. It's uncomfortable for me now, now that I've figured out that it's okay to sleep naked. <laughs> Once I figured that out, I'm like, oh, this is way better. Why do I even have clothes on while I'm sleeping? And, you know, in the winter, no clothes, fan going. Don sleeps like a rock. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I cannot wake him up for the life of me. Even when I scream his name and pound on his door, he will not wake up, which is kind of scary. Um, <laughs> but, um, let me move the camera a little bit. There could be a fire going, I would have no idea. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Um, but with the fan, I... I couldn't sleep with it going on for the longest time. It took me quite a while to get used to it. He used to have to have uh, the TV and the fan going on. That was awful. With your snoring too. Snoring, fan, TV at night. 
I am used to silence. No fan, no nothing, just, just silence. I think I just find it easier to fall asleep when I have a lot of noise going on. <laughs> I don't. I find it easier to go to sleep. Well, not now. Before I met you, before I shared our room, silence was perfect. Silence was great for me having to go to sleep. Um, when I'm trying my hardest to go to sleep, that I, I know I need to go to sleep, um, now, because I've gotten used to the fan and the snoring and the TV, which he actually turns off the TV, but he used to not. With all that going on, I got used to it, and now that I live alone, it's awkward when, I, when I'm going to sleep. <laughs> And it's silent. I'm like, yeah, earbuds. I need music or a fan noise or something. Just it's TV. not the sound of the fan as much as it is the air, the cold air. Ugh, I hate the cold. The cold never bothered you anyway. Never did. It never has. He loves the cold. He, he'd rather be in the cold than the hot. I'd rather be hot than cold. Speaking of, it's too warm in here. See what I mean? It's so annoying. <laughs> Speaking of, it's too hot. It's probably because I'm in hot in here. It's because it's I'm in here. That's why. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say right now. It's awkward. Um, <laughs> Don, help me not be awkward. I'm sorry. If I ha if we had video editing stuff, I would totally edit this whole out, and so I'm not awkward. Also, I look awful. I was not informed that I was going to be doing a video today. Yes, if you were. I yeah, but like an hour like a half hour before now. If I would have known yesterday that I was gonna do a video today, I would have totally showered last night. I and I wouldn't have I wouldn't have put my hair back in a ponytail so it would be all gross like this. And I would have makeup on. But I don't. That's there are your gonna fault. be people in the comments who go, "You don't shower every day? If you got a problem with us showering every day? Go watch Adam ruins everything." Yeah, go ahead and tell me that you shower every day. It's a lie. Not everyone showers every freaking day unless you're like a germaphobe or something, or your mom tells you you have to. Not I've everyone, been there. Not I've everyone should that. either. Like it's it's recommended that uh, by dermatologists. That you don't shower every single day. Anyway, we're going off topic because, yeah. Anyway, I think we're done. Yeah. Because it's been 18 minutes. And mm -hmm. anyway, so you want me to end it? Sure. Awesome. So thanks for watching his channel with me. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thank you.